Let's go to our uh, one of our members. He, he's one of our executive producer level members, so bless his heart, Ozan Farat, uh, and he's got a question for us. So, uh, Ozan, uh, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. How about you guys? Excellent, excellent, Great. brother. Hi, uh, wh where are you? I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. At the gym, apparently, if you look over his left shoulder. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't I'm, have to I'm, actually, <laughs> What's I'm that? actually at home. Okay. And you know what? I use that same thing, not at home, but like at the gym. Because that pulling exercise where you pull it is actually one of the <laughs> best exercises you can make. I was wondering. Uh, but actually, that, no, my, my wife broke her arm uh, or her shoulder a few weeks ago, so um, it's for her physical therapy. Or oh, that, or, or that. that. If you, yeah. Like, if you break your shoulder, it's really the best thing you could do. Is that thing, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Bernie, Sa Bernie Sanders put one of those on Hillary Clinton, tried to pull her left. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ozan, what's, what's your question for us? Well, um, I, I'm originally of Turkish descent, like you, Cenk. Um, Merhaba. And, yeah, and I, and I spent about 20 years of my life in Turkey, and I can't help but, uh, but see similarities between um, what goes on in Turkey versus what's going on here in the U.S. Um, yep. Tur Turkish politicians are known or have been known to line their pockets, and it's, it's um, becoming very apparent to me that Donald Trump now is um, setting everything up where he's going to be lining his pockets as well. But um, my question is something uh, completely separate to this. It feeds into this. But um, my question is around education. Uh -huh. um, what can we do to combat the um, defunding of education across all state levels where um, people are becoming ripe for misinformation and that we're basically becoming sheep and we're not able to um, think critically and question and um, you know, hold people responsible and accountable? Yeah. So that's a that's a great great question. I have several different things to say about that. So first off, on the comparison of Turkey and, and, and America, unfortunately, that's a frighteningly uh, accurate uh, uh, comparison. It, it's at least at the beginning of it because Trump reminds me of Erdogan in so many different ways. I don't care what the rules are. I am going to attack the media uh, and uh, and I'm going to seize power and I'm going to do whatever I want with that power and not be constricted by laws and rules and regulations and both are right wing both are demagogues so god help us okay <laughs> now on the education question that's a long term fight brother that's actually one of the things that i want to use the investigative reporter on i have a i have an idea for a story about education that i think could rock several different countries so i mm -hmm. know that's vague and it sounds like overpromising but i don't think it is uh and Boy, I'd love to have the reporter do that in, in this drive here, tytnetwork.com slash go. I'm not saying anything, I just said it. Um, <laughs> but on the issue of how to fight back uh, on a macro scale, look, right now we're behind the eight ball. Betsy DeVos is, you know, Bernie Sanders wanted to get public, uh, free education for college level. And he pushed Hillary Clinton to that direction and she was going to do that. Now we're going backwards. With Trump, yeah. not only are we not going to get free college education, uh, but... Betsy DeVos is saying she wants to defund the public schools. She wants to take right. money out of the public schools at the high school level mm -hmm. and give it into private education. But some of those private schools are Christian schools. Okay. I just read a story about this today. I don't agree with that. I'm agnostic. But besides, much more important than being agnostic, I believe in the American Constitution and separation of church and state. So I don't Absolutely. want my taxpayer dollars going to Christian schools, Jewish schools, or, by the way, Muslim schools. So the story I read this morning is some Republicans are not finding out that when you uh, send money to private schools in the way that Betsy DeVos wants, oops, it turns out there's over 300 Muslim schools in the country. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. oh. And right. so it's going to Muslim schools. So one of the Republican legislators in Louisiana flipped out, and she withdrew her bill that did it at the local level, the same thing that Betsy DeVos wants to do at the national level. She's like, oh, I didn't know it was going to go to Muslim schools too. Uh, she's like, no, no, forget it, forget it, forget it. Let's put it back into public schools. I was like, thanks God. <laughs> right? Right. So, right. Uh, Ozan, one of the things that I want to do is say education is the great equalizer. If you're against free education, you're against equality of opportunity, and you're against the American dream. So that, that's a long-term fight, but it's a fight we can win. If you frame it that way, it, it puts the Republicans in a 
terrible spot where they have to argue against equality of opportunity. They have to say, like if you're Donald Trump, hey, my daddy gave me $200 million, I already made it, and I'm going to burn the bridge behind me. Good luck, make that argument. I bet I, if we frame it right, I bet we crush them in the long run. Yeah, they, they always seem to come up with, oh, how are we going to pay for it? But, I mean, here we are. We are paying for public education up until high school. And I, I don't, I, I forget the number now, but, you know, Bernie Sanders did make a very strong argument and said, you know, it's only X billion of dollars. And granted, it's billions of dollars to send people to uh, public universities and have free college education. But, you know, if we take away certain um, tax breaks that certain companies are getting too, you know, it then it becomes a wash. And I, I yeah, thought that what yeah, compared to the uh, the defense, uh, not only the defense budget, just the waste in the defense department, uh, the amount we spend, which is about seventy, according to Bernie Sanders' plan, seventy-five billion dollars a year, right? Uh, mm -hmm. That is enormously doable. I mean, think about it. Over a decade, that sounds like a lot, $750 billion. That's actually half of what the Iraq war cost. So for half the Iraq war, we can finance free college education for the entire country. So we serve people here and get them equality of opportunity for an entire decade. But, but, but see, that, that's where the problem also lies. You know, they don't want people thinking critically. They don't want people thinking um, you know, or questioning authority so that that that's the problem that i see and it's 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 very frustrating yeah yeah and, and many mem many republican members of congress um have children in private schools uh so the notion that they're going to spend a ton of time uh on issues having to do with public schools is absurd anyway uh, the other side of that coin and president obama's initiative on community college was a great and and thoughtful place to start because it's where States are much more in charge of it, which should appeal to Republicans, but Republicans still don't buy into that. But if you start with community, community college being free, which is what President Obama and Arne Duncan and his education team at the time um, put forward, then, then you get the states involved, and then because it matters to the states in terms of federal grant dollars and, and, and the way that they get money for education. So if they're able to make it free, if, you know, if you're not going to put the accelerator on the Bernie plan, which obviously they're not going to do because uh, that's not top of the list right now, and Betsy DeVos is a, is a disaster, um, and, and you also look at magnet schools rather than charter schools, which is what a lot of the Democrats running for Congress wanted to do, then you have a different model. But you're not going to get that at all now with the Republicans because they're totally incentivized in the opposite way. You'd think that they would be for this, this idea of getting the states more involved because whenever they always defer to the states when there's something that they don't like. Well, education run by the states, these community colleges, which are all state <coughs> colleges, which are all state colleges at the bottom line, uh, they would be free and they would come out of state budgets, would be, which would be reimbursed by federal grant dollars and it would incentivize the states. The Republicans don't see that. So there's not, you talk about critical, uh, critical thinking, but there's not critical thinking even in the way that they look at, at solutions to problems that you would think would appeal to them. And, and I, I, don't, I never thought that we would get to, to free college for everyone right away. Uh, it's great that it's part of the, of the conversation now and that Sanders talked <coughs> about it, that Clinton to a different degree talked about it. But what the president talked about seemed the most sensible place to start and even that got nowhere uh, because the, these intransigent Republicans on the issues of uh, of funding for for schools and and the incentives that charter schools create for them that it's, it's, you're just going up a bad hill. Okay, <clears throat> just one last thing here uh, before we let you go in and check in on the lizard and see if we got the four hundred ten thousand. <laughs> um, Have you written any questions? Um, so, <laughs> no, not yet. I got to think of it. By the way, is it Ozan or Ozan? Ozan. Ozan. Okay. Um, I'm just curious, my dad got a free college education in Turkey and that's why I'm here today. Uh, otherwise mm -hmm. I would literally be picking olives in southeastern Turkey and having ISIS bombs probably land uh, somewhere near my head. Uh, Could be worse. Could be raining. No. no it, like, it might literally not be worse. <laughs> okay. So uh, he, he's from Kilis, which is near Gaziantep where ISIS is bombing. Anyway. But weirdly, uh, Jimmy and I would still be right here. We still be right here. <laughs> yeah. um, Jimmy, uh, you guys would both be far more successful because you will have done other things. <laughs> anyway, uh, did anybody in your family uh, get a college education uh, in Turkey uh, that, that wound up affecting your life? 
Uh, yes. Well, my father actually um, did his uh, undergrad and graduate studies at Istanbul um, University. Um, and then he came to Chicago and did his PhD at uh, Northwestern. Oh, so almost exactly like my dad. Uh, so yep. uh, my dad went to Istanbul Technical University uh, and then came and did graduate work at Stevens Institute in New Jersey. And then he built a company a business in Turkey out of no out of nothing, right? And then came here and and built uh, a business here and contributed to the economy in Turkey and here. So it's not just that, hey, our family did better. Uh, we wound up employing hundreds of people uh, because of that free college education. And apparently, sure. you, have, you have a similar story. Well, my, yeah, my father ended up going into academics. and um, But he put me and my all my siblings through a college for free, basically, or close to being free, because he was a professor at Arizona State. Excellent, excellent. All right. hey, let me just say one thing about yeah. taxing and high school yeah. and what they're doing. I'm pretty sure Jerry Brown passed the was it two four billion dollar tax on the wealthy to fund education in in California, mm -hmm. and I think people are looking at that as a success. And, and in fact, the California's economy is doing great. And so, uh, you know, when you spend money on education, it's not a it's it's an investment and it's not a debt. So you know, those people go on as Robert Shear always points out. He went to college for free, along with Colin Powell in New York. And uh, they went on to be, pay a lot of taxes the rest of their, their lives. So we got to remember that, right? So when we send someone to college, they're going to pay taxes for the rest of their life. So it's an investment in our own country. Well, Jimmy, to be fair, though, California did that, and uh, they're only the number one economic state in the country. Mm, what? Mm. That's that's mm. bad. So you should you don't want to think about how much better they would be, though. Like well, we could be <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. right. above one, like zero. Right, because there are states that are like on our tail right now. Yeah. But if we just did it. also the magnet school mo model is one that California follows, and um, if that's their workaround to this charter school. Yeah, you know, I, I, so. that's better certainly than the charter school. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and to your point, Jimmy, part of the reason that California does that is because we have this enormously successful Silicon Valley in Northern California powering not just the U.S. but the world in a lot of ways. And they have to keep getting workers from outside the country. So they're like, hey, I got an idea. Why don't we actually educate the people inside the country so we can then employ them instead of having to get workers from India, China, and all, all across the world. Okay, Ozan Farad, thank you so much for uh, calling in. Thank you for being a member, man. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for uh, giving me the time. I really appreciate it. I keep on going. TYT all the time. Gitch, gitch, right. gitch.